The first of four officials in one central Ohio city launching a community-based program that creates safe havens for community members in crisis. NBC4's Matthew Herchick shows us how Safe Space Dublin works and why city leaders believe it will help create a community of inclusion. The safe space sticker outside of the Dublin Police Department can be found outside of city buildings and businesses all across the community. Residents simply scan the QR code and are immediately connected to resources to support them in a time of crisis. We felt like there was an opportunity for the community to come together to take care of members of our community or visitors to our community. It's why the city of Dublin is launching Safe Space Dublin, locations across the city that serve as safe harbors for those experiencing a crisis. Who can enter any of those established locations and to connect with somebody who is there in that environment, who can hear them, can call the right resource for them, or connect them to the support resources that are part of the Safe Space Dublin program. Back in November, I spoke with Dublin Police about a town hall discussion centered around mental health and cultural differences. That was one of many conversations over the past year that has led to the program's creation. It really gives us an opportunity to engage uh, with the community members and to understand and hear perspectives that are unique to the climate and culture here in Dublin. All city buildings and all Washington Township Fire Department stations now operate as Safe Space Dublin locations. But these stickers can also be found at businesses throughout the city. No one should ever feel that they don't have a voice in their community and nobody should ever feel left out of their community because of you know who they worship, what they look like, who, who they love. Scott Brown is the school resource officer at Dublin Scioto. He also trains those businesses on the program's response protocol. Some of it is step by step what they may experience when somebody comes in. We'll have some questions that they can ask. And for those not comfortable speaking to someone in person, Brown says the program gives a voice to those who otherwise may go unheard. Scanning that QR code that's on the sticker, they can get resources without interacting with anybody. So it's a way that they will be able to get help and have a voice without even having to interact if they choose to. City officials say more and more businesses are signing up to participate in the program every single day. And for more information on the program or for details on resources and a list of businesses participating, you can head to our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Dublin, Matthew Herchick, NBC4.